Namaskar, welcome back everyone. Welcome to another video, which is a playthrough first impression type of video for a game we have been waiting for a long time. Well, this game, published by Sega, developed from Sega's online RD, finally is available for West North America server Fantasy Star Online 2 many among us who are Fantasy Star are quite familiar with the Fantasy Star universe actually have been following this game ever since Sega first announced it to be released in West but finally we have it so what is Fantasy Star Online before I actually go into the game and show you the game itself just a brief details on what it is essentially it's a free to play action rpg mmo of the fantasy star series developed and published by sega the successor of the fantasy star online and fantasy star universe and uh, the initial version was released for windows in japan on july 2012 a PlayStation Vita version was released on February 2013. PS4 version was released on April 2016. There was also a spin off or companion system that was released for Android and iOS on 2014 called Fantasy Star Online 2 ES, whereas a Nintendo Switch Cloud version entitled Fantasy Star Online 2 Cloud was released on April. 2018 and finally on last year's e3 e3 2019 microsoft showed us the trailer that pso2 will finally come in waste with their hand on xbox one and windows store now directed by you Suganuma and Keisuke Nakamura. This was a this is a very successful RPG MMORPG till date in the Japanese market. And uh, what caused it so much delay we still don't know, but it is a little bit history on its release and cancellations in various parts, which I'll just briefly tell and directly go into the game itself to show you guys so essentially after it was it launched it did not on uh, july 4 2012 and then there was a retail version of the game released on september 13th of the same year with some installation cd disc bundles with extra bonuses and in-game items it's not that this game was never translated into english no there was a southeast asian version that was translated into english fully translated so asia soft no asia soft is an mrpg publisher they released this uh, PSO2 on Southeast Asia that was fully translated and uh, they also released a Thai language version for the Thailand players. The CBT closed beta test began on April 10th, 2014 with the official launch on May 29, 2014. And uh, as you you may or may not know but the main storyline here are divided into several chapters for example the na version that just got released yesterday has up to chapter 3 whereas the japan has chapter 6 so asiasoft uh, announced that they would distribute chapter episode 2 or chapter 2 as you may say were on March 5, 2015, but April and continuing on April 5, 2017, they announced they would end servicing PSO2 
for Southeast Asian countries including Thailand on May 26, 2017. There was also a traditional Chinese version released for Taiwan and Hong Kong which had been tra translated to, to your traditional Chinese that were that lasted around for three years and finally ended its service around early 2017. As for Western release, on July 9, 2012, five days after the original Japanese release, Sega had announced that they had plans for Western release as early as 2013. And, the, and we had a teaser of the English version of the game during Penny Arcade Expo in Seattle, Washington on August 31st, 2012. But it was delayed. The Western release uh, was delayed and may have been cancelled, may not. Like It was a kind of messy situation and we didn't have much of an intel about that. But as you know, finally, on June 9, 2019, on Microsoft's E3 press conference, the NA version that was scheduled to come on Spring 2020 was shown there, the trailer of the PSO2 coming to the West. Then uh, on February 7 to 9, three-day CBT, Closed beta test on Xbox was conducted. Then a four week open beta test from March 17 and concluded on April 14. And finally, it was released on April 14. Like it's, they directly went from OBT to release for Xbox. Yesterday, May 27, 2020, PC version finally got released and god that was so yeah the situation with the download and the servers my god so let's actually go into the game and show you what pso2 looks like in waste well not much of a difference yeah so after you download uh, in the MS Store, Microsoft uh, Windows Store, uh, the PSO2 disclaimer for non-NA players like those who do not live in North America. Please be mindful that you have to download or rather mark that game in your wish list or have it in your account on North America Microsoft Windows Store. And then you can download through your desktop or laptop, whatever your PC's uh, Microsoft Windows Store through that wish list or your uh, non-installed files and that option through there. But you have to to get it. You have to go to the North American version of the Microsoft Windows Store. But it is open. There is no IP block. As you can see, I am in the title screen of the game right now. Let me open this. And uh, here, personally, I would say that uh, in the language setting, please change the voice to Japanese unless you do not like Japanese voice acting because it makes more like symbionts compared to the English version of the voice acting. It's not that English version is bad or something, but the Japanese version is much more adaptive to the game itself the english version is not so much as adaptive as the game itself as for text and language you can keep it on english unless you know japanese of course then going to the game here you can see uh right from the xbox release as well and now on the pc release we only have three ships essentially three servers please be mindful not to create a character where you do not want to because you cannot access your character or their items through another server's character or anywhere so what you can only get is only on the server everything is server locked unlike uh, uh Final Fantasy or Guild Wars, I guess. Anyway, 
in Guild Wars you can even change servers at any time but of course for a fee or something sometimes depending on your character and all but yeah ship 4 to ship 6 are still offline they were not open and I do not know whether they will be open later on so yeah so let's go I'm gonna showcase you guys a little bit of stuff that uh, you guys may would like to know okay friend referral system so essentially whoever uses your ID you and that person will get uh, additional some goodies and stuff like that later down the line in the game itself so if that's my ID when you guys play you if you are playing with your friends you can interchange your IDs because you can put your IDs uh, you have to put your IDs after you select character creation you can get your ID before that so you and your friend can interchange your IDs before going to the character creation and writing the IDs next uh, here in the support menu you got the options so you can toggle up the sound and everything from there but generally when you first time log in you would see that uh, you have a uh, instead of a player uh, or other account name you have an account number sort of a pn dash a dash something like that so in order to change that to your actual player name can only be done one time for free otherwise you have to subscribe and then do whatever anytime but yeah go to change player id name and make sure put the id name that you want remember though that the id name uh, if you get your id name once and then you do not like your id name you can of course change it but you have to as you can see there is that a icon there that is the cash shop currencies icon so you will require sub or i guess there would maybe cash shop uh, item for changing the uh, account name that i have not yet checked but we'll go into the game and see the cash shop what is in the cash shop itself that is later but yeah whatever name you are leaving as essentially you are changing your name so whatever name you will be leaving will be free for any other players to take so be mindful of that as well do not give like one of your originals to others if you change again but for the first time it's just gonna be some number and code so just leave it at that then on the character creation i'm gonna showcase you guys the character creation a bit but cuts in アマタの銀河に渡る。翼先崎で見つかった未知の惑星にはオラクル内で編成された部隊。アークスが惑星に降下し調査を行う。アークスはオラクルに存在する4種族からなる。バランスに秀でたヒューマン。ほとんどの
So this is a cutscene that you'll always see when you create a new character, which is essentially introducing part of the introduction. So yeah, so you got four races, your normal human, male and female. Then you have Newman, the bioengineered elves, male and female. You have cast the machine. Well, I prefer personally prefer to call them machine life form if you know what that is. But yeah, they were they are robots essentially. Cast female. Now you can see a very big difference between cast male and cast female. Remember though that these dresses you are watching on cast females despite their humanoid body those dresses are part of their body and you cannot turn them off to scale the body as you like it is not possible because the dresses are part of their bodies unlike other races and finally the demon or demon so let me just give you a quick example of what i mean so before that there are six classes available in the starting screen there are more in the game itself you can change your class anytime to be mindful of your class skill uh, panel though that is a different case altogether we'll show that so you have your hunter with this giant sword ranger with the automatic rifle-ish thing and uh, also a launcher and then you have force which is essentially your magic is class magic is called technique here and then you have uh, Summoner that summons creatures to fight with you. So it's a very different type of class compared to others and not something that is beginner friendly, especially if you have never played PSO2. Bouncer that essentially kicks you with everything because their signature weapon is that flying hover boot they are wearing and braver your katana wielding bow wielding class so let me show you something there are some presets available and all but that's not my primary concern So from here you can customize your face, your body, your attire. Give me, let me just give you a quick example. For example, you can customize what face you want, uh, make a pattern and all, hair color, hairstyle. There are quite a few to choose from. Advanced customization is where things get very detailed and also very easy to mess up. Let me just show you. This is your horn slider and you can also change their angle and stuff. There's a face morphing to be honest, not just horn, but here. I'm going to give you a very good example of how can you can mess around with that face of yours. Um, right. I'm personally I am messing around uh, but that is due to myself wanting to show you guys
right then you can customize the body in the basic body type you have a couple types of body and the thing yeah see you can turn off the mm, dress in this case in uh, human newman and duman body then uh, body morphing hello what happened to my body morphing okay paint Then advanced body customization again as you can see and turn it into a giant or a as you can see you can proportionalize everything almost everything kind of even muscle mass how muscly you want to make And then your attire, your outfit. Okay. Outfit color you can change. No issues. Decals. The logos and stuff you can see here. Then accessories. For example, and done, and then you can change its position, your accessory position. It's uh, you can see the positions. This is Y axis. This is X axis movement. This is uh, Z axis movement. And then you can also change its angle, which angle you want to change. Its size, uh, how big or how small you want it to be. Various type of customization for everything. Then you can select a voice, for example, these are, there are some unique voices and some sample voices. I like the unique voices more. And then you can save your character data, but your character data is dependent on your uh let me just show you here once you save it it is dependent on your race and class so it will if you choose a different race and class it won't load quite obviously right and once you are done everything you can go next and create your character then now now let me show you case of cast case of cast though choose something better to show and this one's fine right here you cannot as I said, you cannot turn off the outfit because it is a part of the cast's body itself, not separate. But in the attire, you can choose the main color, subcolor, and all. But again, this is the cast body itself. 
see here in the customize body you can choose the base body type again but the outfit is not changing as you can see here right see but the outfit itself is not changing Oh, I did not saw this. Literally, if the eye was a different color, then and this mask wasn't here, this would have been rain from 5 minutes 14 actually. This is absolutely that pre kind of preset. Almost. Maybe not totally, but yeah, almost. Wow. So yeah, you cannot change those as you can see. But sub color and stuff you can change, of course. All those. So, yeah, that was what I wanted to show you in the character creation part. Finally, this is my character. Of course, I always play male characters. So, let's get into the game. Right. So, here we are into the game. Oh. An emergency quest is up. Let's see. Is it actually up? Yep. Oh, again? Okay. Let's again, my base operation. Guys, if you face any kind of lag issues and all, it is a very normal as in very normal like not essentially lag issue like uh, for us who are not in North America we are playing with a higher ping despite it not being that much obvious but obviously we are playing with a higher ping and then there's a ton of like the server is so loaded with players now I just so it is not weird. Hello, unable to join your party status. What the oh, never mind. Just a sec. So this is the gateway ship. It is where you can access some uh, items like these uh, medical items and stuff. And you have your uh, companion tab, quest tab, uh, medical terminal, gateway tab, etc. This is where you will first spawn but you cannot access them in the first tutorial mission have your friend Elfine there with you and uh, they will help you with their with the first quest and then right after the bat once you are into the quest itself and finish them you'll be going through a couple of uh, quest missions and stuff back into the main ship as you saw that was the main ship the player hub and uh, as for the rest part you'll continuously progress i'll of course show you a bit more stuff more stuff regarding that things you have to be mindful of but first of all right off the bat just to go on go to the options menu please make sure to have message auto looting enable and Weapon acquisition uh, 10 or 13 star or 12 star, whichever you want. Uh, material automatic auto acquisition on, and then uh, drop notification on the menu when it's a 10 plus star or higher. That way, it'll make your life so much easier. And this is an urgent quest or emergency quest, as known as uh, in Japan. These are timed 
missions that are much more uh, much more hard and very interesting to do so make sure to do those they give also very good loots and uh, very good xp and meseta and the rest of the stuff i'll show you once we have finished with this mission and back into our gateway ship all right guys continuing on from the settings page be sure to use the if you're using keyboard and mouse option be sure to use the three key uh, mouse option the three button mouse option will make it very much easier for controls and there's a couple other stuff in the settings page that uh, you also should go through uh, actually you should go through the entire setting page to be honest first of all and then go on with the game itself now here uh, as you can see this will be your mm, tab from where you participate in several quests main quest, story quest sub quest emergency or urgent quest practical quest everything you get from here right next would be coffee she uh, has very uh, she will have various unlocking quests for you including the mag unlock weapon pellet unlock difficulty level unlock and much more as you progress further into the game itself then uh, Please be mindful of this NPC, the handbook guide, Leontina, because she has in game essentially what this game does is doesn't tell you a lot of stuff. But here you can come and read the guides about various stuff that the game doesn't tell you in terms of quests. For example, how to get more experiences how to get more meseta how to get uh, like regarding your weapons how to enhance them and so on and so forth this one is where you will get the invitation reward for using your friend's codes uh, code not codes then uh, here this is your daily order NPC who will give you dailies and stuff that are will essentially is a very big source of you getting set and XP as you can see. Right. Always be remember mindful to finish your dailies. And then uh, this is your uh, Visiphone terminal. Uh, this is a storage terminal, and this is a Visiphone terminal storage. You have two type of storages. One is your account storage, another is a character storage. And uh, your Visiphone terminal here, you can get shop player shop access, so you can search for whatever is being sold and stuff. Uh, other than that, you can have like registering friends and all those stuff from here ranking item code campaign item etc right then um, here is your class uh, this is your alliance and uh, next to him Alliance and class. In terms of like from here you can change your classes anytime. And once you have unlocked the secondary class you can also change that from here as well. From here you can uh, load out you got see new save so you can uh, save your loadout for your class and its skills. Then from its class skill you can learn it from here 
you can reset class skills uh, add new class skill trade is purely your cash shop currency as you can see you can use sg for swapping skill tree uh, and more stuff you can get into that as you further progress into the game just make sure not to mess up the class uh, the skill tree be sure what you want check what you want there are various builds and guides and all over the net many talented people have done that make sure to check that out same for mags so what is mag a little thing that uh, floats with you uh, and uh, feeding it stuff will give you ex uh, XP and all but on the mag and also give sp uh, stat points so mm, for stat points make sure what type of class you have and make uh, focus on that for example I'm braver and I'm focusing on a dexterity build pure dex build so uh, all my part will go to mag dex for that you can use uh, in feed item you can use the PA discs but if not then you can use uh, in devices you can use the dexterity food device of which you can get once in the shopping area Can come here in the photon drop swap swapper thunder drop exchange and here you got food is I I use the food device text mini or food device text which you get for these uh, photon spears that you can get through doing dailies and weeklies other than that you can also buy those in the player shop as well this is the uh, expensive way of uh, getting the mag leveled but if you uh, do not have as much meseta on the hand despite the fact that getting meseta is pretty much very easy even if you don't buy from here uh, using these uh, spears you can buy using meseta on the play shops uh, that's why I said about Masata. Or uh, as you do the daily and weekly, you can buy from here. Your choice. So, depends. If you got these, please go ahead and uh, f get everything. Um, get your mag leveled. Because uh, mag stats are very much uh, important here. But please. Do not mess up that mag stat because of resetting mag costs and I mean it costs and through which we'll take a look at the shop so AC shop is your cash shop currency shop so here you can get a premium set pack which accesses uh, premium service this is a subscription which gives you various benefits uh, nothing that act is actually extremely important like not like Swoto but it is uh, it makes your life a bit easier for example you can get 40 client orders at the same time unlike normally I think you can get a uh, 20 or 25 uh, without the uh, without the premium uh, it also expands your storage space not your uh, and uh, uh, inventory space no it doesn't expand your inventory space just storage space inventory space you have to buy a separate item that I'm gonna show you so on so forth right uh, as you can see XP boosts and all also there is a kind of a food and drink uh, there's a drink that you can get uh, using Masetta every time you go 
that has uh, various perks. Uh, if you subscribe, then you can get the highest grade of that drink and uh, get all the perks, all the better perks. But if you don't, then just get a couple perks. So whether you want it or not, I will. I'll show you where to get that. Right. Uh, these are revive scrap dolls. Anyway, the atomizer is a restore fully health to is a AOE heal. Expand max orders uh, save limit. This is also available. Uh, storage uh, uh, unit expanding. For limited amount of days, of course. Then personal quarter use. Personal shop use. As you can see, personal quarter and personal shop is part of those. Uh... <sighs> so, yeah. You can use these tickets or you can get the subscription and mag ticket is what it gives you an additional mag as you can see for 300 and mag reset which allows you to reset your mag so unless you like for uh, non e uh, na players getting this cash of coins is a, actually hard like actually uh, annoying because uh, you have to have your uh, setting to NA your shipping address to NA and so on so, and so forth so those are a bit annoying for you guys so for us essentially as well so it's better not to mess up absolutely super pickaxe these are for the harvesting uh, materials and stuff fishing rod same inventory expands uh, expansion okay sub pallet ticket allows you to get more Actor storage expansion 50. Yeah. Now, what you can get for SG? SG is something uh, you can get through playing the game itself. There are various stuff from where you can get SG. So, let's see what SG gives. Material storage usage 30 for 5 days, uh, 90 for 5 days. Extended storage users one mission pass gold ticket so there's a mission pass or you can say it's a, like those battle pass systems this is the gold ticket for that like the golden tray above uh, below the normal tray salon pass uh, weapon transmutation change pass sugar tongue this is for pet so these are what available for the SG yeah and uh, scratch ticket is also something annoying <laughs> right and there's a fresh find so shop so here you can get several of these uh, cosmetic and stuff you can get for a set uh, for SG and you can also get for this something raising weapon badge stamina ring there's some additional items and so you can get for a set and stuff right you can see there's a season 3 going on uh, mission information so the, here you, uh, you can get the, the main missions, the daily mission, the weekly mission, and TA mission. And when limited time, you can see what I need to do. Right. And these gives me those stuff needed. And you can use like... Get all the rewards from here.
Right. Other than that, there's also um, so here you have the casino area, which I'll show later. Uh, you have your weapon merchant and uh, weapon appraisal. Sometimes you will get uh, special weapons that uh, are not appraised. You have to come here and appraise them. Uh, this is a pet part. I'll just show you uh, like change pet name, pet rarity, etc. etc. This item love enhance item, a fix augment. Something that comes a bit into the late game after you get to level 50 and all. The tea broker, desk item dealer. From uh, this one, you can get the PA discs. Uh, you can use these discs also to get dexterity mag build. Use that. And here the yeah here the uh, function goes on. For example, uh, there's a little bit of fun games and all also here, and there are more shops and all. I'll show you that uh, drink I was talking about. After that, we'll go to the casino. Right. So here. There is also a quest. There is a league reward. Ox League. Right. There's also a quest counter here. These are the type of titles I got. So through this NPC you can get these titles, the title keeper. And here is the drink NPC. As you can see this uh, drink gives a small boost to offensive capabilities, uh, is attack up, defense up drinks. So the first three drinks you can use. No everyone can use. But these two are premium only drinks. The last two on everything. Right. And they are one time. You can only have uh, use it for one mission and then it's gone and you have to use it again. So it is here uh, right opposite to the... In the medical shop, this is the NPC medicinal stuff, uh, the opposite uh, of this class and alliance area. Right, and let's go to the casino. Should the last stuff I'm gonna show you here. Right, so I'm just giving a little bit of a uh, details about this and you guys should explore everything at your own convenience which will be very much fun I liked exploring myself here So here is also a different currency called casino coins, right. There will be several mini games, stuff to exchange.
tons of stuff for you to enjoy. There's literally a place you enjoy and gamble. Right? And then uh, in terms of equipping weapons and all is here. Equipping armors is here. Or you can go to here in customize and customize your weapon palette, armor palette, the sub palette, everything. So weapon camo, seat position, like which comes where, right? Here you can get whatever is needed. And change whatever is needed here, everything, right? Then you, if you are a sum, you can get uh, pets from here. Fashion is something that comes later, but in the logbook, other people. Let's see. This should be. Yeah, see. Here you can see how other people, what other people are using to their outfits. Essentially, in game, many people compete to get into the logbook. It's a type of recognition, you see. So yeah. And then you have mails and all the lines. Then communication log, right? Quest. Symbol art, chat settings and stuff. Make sure to go through those at your own convenience. Shortcut, the chat shortcuts. You should remind the, remember these shortcuts. Macro for auto chat and all. Right. And all those. So despite it being a little bit of uh, me telling what I, where is everything, <laughs> I hope you guys will have fun playing this game. I'll be streaming, of course. You'll find me on mix.com slash Oren. And uh, let's have fun actually, right? Well, I'm in shape too. Make sure to drop by and say hi. Have a good day.